I just saw that Krispy Kreme changed its logo to Krispy Scream for Halloween, and today I'm gonna make other famous logos scary. So first I went with Starbucks, or as we call it, Scarebucks. I decided to make their existing logo red, I brought it into Procreate, and then started adding these details as if the Starbucks lady was a zombie. I made one of her tails a bone, made half of her head missing with the brain sticking out, and the final detail is I made her star an upside down pentagram. I went on Adobe Fonts to find a scary font and found this monster pack. I typed out Starbucks and this is the font Schlop. And here's the final result. I'm beyond happy with how this came out and I could actually see them using something like this for Halloween. The second logo is Burger King's AKA Booger King. I took out the existing font in the Burger King logo and typed that out in one called Monster Mash. I wanted to add a like dripping green goo to the burger. So I did that in Illustrator. I made the font purple. And then the final detail was I added this to like a black stroke around the font. And here's the final result. I think this one gave like a very 90s like Nickelodeon look and I love it. The last one I'm doing is Goldfish, a AKA Ghoulfish. I decided to give the little goldfish guy like a sheet over his head so he looked like a ghost. And to the actual logo, for the orange part, I decided to change it blue and make it look almost like Danny Phantom with like a blue outer glow. And I changed the font to this kind of like old creepy looking font called Origins. I put all that together and here's the final result. This one's a little bit like more different than the other ones and not the colors I really expected to use for these, but I think this one turned out really great. I did Wendy's, which I renamed to Witchies. I took out the font in Photoshop from Wendy's and I I replaced it with this one called Mr. Darcy that I think kind of looks Salem witchy. And for Wendy, I decided to make her skin green, her hair black, and the bows red to kind of give an Elphaba vibe. I drew a witch hat with the pen tool, and here's the final result. I love how this one came out. It looks kind of like retro scary. Up next, I did Pokemon, which I renamed Spookymon. My idea was to make the O's in Spooky be the eyeballs of the ghost Pokemon Gengar. I gave everything a purple stroke and then decided to actually add his ears in there. I made all the rest of the letters orange, and here's the final result. I'm actually blown away by how much this one looks like it could be real. Up next we have Fruit of the Loom, aka Fruit of the Gloom. For this one I went in on Procreate and decided to add a knife so it looked like it was going into the apple. I made that kind of in the same style of the Fruit of the Loom logo, added a pool of blood to the bottom, and finally a snake. I changed the words to be a different font called Escoffier, and here's the final result. First of all, I just can't get over how fun the name is, and second of all, I love how it looks. And last but not least, we have Hardy's, aka Heldies. For this, I also brought it into Procreate, changed the star black, and outlined it in red to make it look like a pentagram. Then I kind of rearranged how his face looked to make him look angry, put it back into Photoshop, and replaced the font with this chiller font in red, and here's the final result. This one is probably like the scariest looking one of all, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Hostess, which we renamed Ghost. Hostess. My idea was this for to make the ring around hostess be kind of like a Danny Phantom ghost portal. So I started by taking out the word hostess. I made the ring green and I made the little heart white because I wanted to make him a ghost later. I made the ring look like it was glowing and added in that portal in the middle there. Lastly, I typed out Ghostess in the font Mouchamp, and I made the coloring and the drop shadows and everything look like the original, and here's the final result. I love just the whole concept behind this one, and I think it looks really good. Up next, we have White Claw, aka Fright Claw. For this one, I wanted to give it a hand-drawn effect to look similar to the wave they had in it already, but my idea was to make it look kind of like a witch's hand with, like, long nail claws. So I drew the hand on Procreate, and lastly, I changed the birds to be little bats. Then in Illustrator, I tried to mimic the circular part of the font, but changed it to a drippy horn. Font. And here's the final result. I love the name Fright Claw and Blood Seltzer, and honestly, I couldn't be happier with this one. Last we have Wells Fargo, which I renamed Hell's Fargo. I knew I wanted to make the horse look kind of like a skeleton horse, so I did that in Procreate. At first I thought I wanted to make the little guy a uh, devil, but eventually my idea morphed into making this the Headless Horseman. Once I was finally done with that, I brought it into Photoshop. I changed the yellow bar to be a black bar just to make it look a little more scary. I typed it out in this font called Taranum, and here's the final result. I love the little Headless Horseman my guy, but I actually think this one's kind of cute. Subway, eat fresh, or as I'm going to call it, Subway, eat flesh. My idea for this one was to make the letters in Subway look like they were made of skin. So I drew that out in Procreate, and I thought it'd be creepy to make the arrows look like they were detached. I colored the whole thing different skin tones, then I brought it into Photoshop and used the font Chiller to write out eat flesh, and here's the final result. This one turned out much creepier than I thought it would, and I love the little arrows. Up next we have Pizza Hut, aka Pizza Haunt. My idea for this one was to make the red hut look like it was wearing a, like, ghost costume. So I also did this one in Procreate. I drew out the sheet, gave him two little eye holes, 
Then brought it back into Photoshop and played around with the placement and the font. I ended up going with this one called Mr. Darcy, and here's the final result. I think this ghost looks so cute. And Pizza Hut, if you're looking for a logo for Halloween, here you go. Lastly, I redesigned Spotify, which I renamed Spookify. I thought it'd be fun if the Spotify logo looked like a jack-o'-lantern that had been carved out. So I brought that into Procreate, changed it to orange, and added in the details to make it look like a pumpkin. Then I made the three lines of the Spotify logo look like they were carved out of the pumpkin. I brought that back into Photoshop and I changed the font to be one called Bingwat, and here's the final result. This one is definitely the most wholesome of all of them, but I actually really love it. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments.